Inside of this package lies the most secure gold bullion coin in the world. And as I unwrap this package, the logical next step will be that we shall explore. Security features in bullion coins are nothing new. In fact, it's been very impressive to see some of the private mints provide some of the most amazing security features from lenticular uh, devices to radio lines and complicated backgrounds. But the Spanish Royal Mint has taken it to a step way beyond as they are one of the newest sovereign mints to produce a gold bullion product. So we're going to take a look inside of this package and see what it's about. You have seen, perhaps on my channel, uh, the first bullion coin to provide this kind of technology. And I'll post a link at the end screen of this video so you can see uh, in detail that security feature. But this is the next in the series, the second uh, in the series to provide the security features, and the third overall in the series from the Spanish to Bloom. This is the Cartujana, Cart Cartujano horse. That's right, it's a Spanish horse, the caballo. We're going to unbox this thing, unpackage it here. There it is, all right. Very, very nice, exciting to have this in the collection here. I'm gonna take a look at the paperwork. There it is from Kagan's Coins. And uh, remarkable indeed. It actually comes in a box. I'm surprised. I thought they were just for the first release, but I guess if you buy direct from them, you get it in, a, in this nice box. But here we go. Look at that. It comes with a certificate of authenticity. And this is a bullion coin. Um, but it really looks like a collectible coin, too. It has a limited mintage of 12,000 pieces, a decrease of a couple of thousand, 3,000 from the bull, which came out last year, of, uh, of, of 15,000. But uh, this is the one-ounce Spanish doubloon, the Spanish stallion. So let's take a look. It comes in this capsule with a nice ring around it as well, too. A uh, much larger diameter. Uh, than you would see on most bullion coins. In fact, uh, it is 37.2 millimeters in diameter, which uh, I like a smaller diameter uh, coin, but uh, you see a lot of detail in the larger diameter coins like the uh, like the Philharmonics and the like. And for the security feature, it certainly does make sense that they do that. They are one of the few mints that provide bullion coins in reverse proof format. And uh, this is something that we also see with the Perth Mint that they do a great job with that. And the quality appears to be about the same uh, with the Perth Mint and the Spanish Royal Mint in terms of the reverse proof finish. Um, but uh, I'll go over some of the features of this. It is a four nines fine gold product uh, from Spain, a Spanish Royal Mint. It's pretty, pretty remarkable. It's a continuation of the Spanish doubloon series. This release is dedicated to the Carthusian Andalusian or Carthujano Spanish horse. These horses are known for their proud and lofty actions, uh, a showy and rhythmic walk captured very well on this design here. A great detail in the horse for sure. And uh, with the high stepping trot that you can see with that foot there raised up, that hoof there. The canters are rocking in nature with natural balance and agility, according to a uh, release here by Kagan Coins. The breed is Spain's most prestigious horse line and has one of the oldest stud books in the world. You know what? I like to be referred to as a stud from time to time, but I very rarely get that compliment from anyone. So I have to live vicariously through this horse. Yes, indeed. Uh, the Carthusian is not a separate breed from the Andalusian, but rather a distinct side branch that is considered the purest remaining strain. Uh, and so, very, very cool. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. It was designed by Fabrico Nacional de Moneda and Timbre, Real Casa de la Moneda, in collaboration with Yaguada uh, de la Cartuja. Anyways, it's Spanish stuff, but anyways, there you have it. Very, very cool. And of course, this is the Caballo Cartujano, 
and has a 1.5 euro face value, which is very, 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 this is, I think that's probably the, the tiniest denomination we've seen on a, on a gold bullion coin ever. That's one and a half euros. You would think it would be, uh, 1500 euros would make more sense, or at least, uh, 150 euros, uh, to be more in line with other bullion coins. But alas, this 2023 issue and this series in general all marked with the same denomination of 1.5 euro, undoubtedly the smallest or the, uh, the lowest denomination of any gold bullion coin out there considering the value of the euro. The reverse uh, the, displays the Columinario del Real de a Ocho. It's a, and it's an homage to the historic pieces of eight, as we know, as the primary motif. Two globes flanked by two crowned columns, each with a legendary plus in Volutra. Further beyond is what that means. And the primary design in the text, um, one ounce, four nines, fine uh, oro, which is Spanish for gold. Now, the one thing about this I will say is that uh, if we look at that motif with those pillars, with the ribbons around them, those ribbons are the precursor to the dollar symbol that we know today. The dollar symbol is reflective of two pillars with the with the ribbons wrapped around both of them. That all started in Spain. The pieces of eight was a precursor. Spanish uh, reals were legal tender in the United States up until the 1850s. So it's pre pretty remarkable, pretty amazing indeed. But this is remarkable for being the most secure bullion coin in the world. And you can already see it there. Uh, this is the revolutionary quadruple latent image, uh, which has lenticular uh, m motifs that shift and change based off of the light. The effect of, is achieved on the metal, engraving a succession of square base pyramids. And again, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a link uh, over here at the end screen of this video so you can see that more clearly of what that looks like, uh, uh, very up close and personal in a magnified image so we can see those things and kind of give a visual idea of how that works with those uh, little pyramids. And you can see the pyramid effect when, 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 when you look at that um, uh, video. I really highly recommend it, it's pretty cool. Each face of the pyramid works as a pixel, essentially, like you would see on a, on a screen. Um, so that all sides with the same orientation form a complete image. Four of them in total. Yes, indeed. It is based off of what is referred to as incident light, reflected light uh, on, on each one of those faces. And they turn a different way based off of the, where the light is. And it's pr pretty remarkable how that works. And these unique mint mark images include the Spanish mint mark which is what you're seeing on your screen right now. I'm gonna see if I can do this. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get the fourth image to show up. I'm gonna try. A five-pointed star. Where is the five-pointed star? Well, here's the Euro symbol. There's the Euro symbol, right? There, you can barely see it. Uh, the silhouette of the columnarios, in other words, the pillars. There it is. You can see that there. Now let's see if I can get that five point of star to show up. You gotta turn it a certain way and it doesn't give me a direction as to how that, to make that work to show that five point of star. There it is. There's the five point of star. Notice I'm, I'm tipping it down just like for the caballeros, but uh, it's pretty neat, pretty wild. So you've seen all four of them now. There's the the uh, pillars. Euro and star and mint mark. Pretty amazing. It's just remarkable. Amazing the technology behind this from a mint in terms of creating bullion coins is new to the game. I think they're the newest. And so these coins have been very popular. They do sell for a premium. And, uh, but they're just amazing, amazingly well done and uh, so well crafted too. I don't see any problems with this. 
And uh, they far outshine the United States in terms of quality uh, and security features. And uh, and that lenticular and that that latent image there, the the quadruple latent image is just a, a remarkable thing. And I, I think that more mint should do that. Uh, I, the next mint that is, comes even close would be the Royal Mint of England, of the United Kingdom, Great Britain. So there you have it. This is the most secure and the next in the collection. Now, I will say this about this series. There's going to be a total of five animals. Right now, we've got the lynx, the bull, and the horse. Two more animals are coming. And there will be a silver version as well, too, coming in due course. So stay tuned for that. But my goal as a collector is to try to get all five of these, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, to be able to get it in a display box like this, I, I guess I kind of need one for the um, for the bull a display box. Maybe I'll, I'll write them or email them and see if they'll sell me a box for the bull. That way I have it all in a in this secure, nice, nice box there as a boy and coin. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. And remember, check out this video right here. Uh, and I love a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please encourage, I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.